the final piece of this puzzle. And for this one, it is on the second floor of the ship on a pillar. Okay, great. So that guy was totally right. You're not accepting gold from people? Nope. No handouts on this character. Yep. No handouts. Thank you, though. Great. All right, so the only thing we have to do now is get these damn 10 whatevers, which do not seem to be spawning too much. Hmm. Co would take handouts on his warlock, except his warlock is long dead. That's true. Did the warlock die.com? Yep. Rogue doesn't just take handouts, he demands them. It's true. When, when I when I uh, play my drinking rogue, which I only play when I'm drinking, uh, he demands handouts. Yeah. You have to, you, if, you're, if you're watching the rogue, you're giving him gold. That's just how it works. Yeah. For every hour I stream the warlock, I demand 50 gold from the community. Because he's worth it. Yeah, he's worth it. The drinking rogue that drinking co never plays. No, it's just I have... Okay. The drinking rogue is for when I'm having a cozy drinking stream and I drink too much to feel comfortable playing my main hardcore character. I frequently will have drinking streams in the evening where I'm just enjoying a beverage. I'm partaking in a beverage. But I'm not drinking that much. You know, it's whatever. I'm not, I'm not drinking enough to feel threatened. So, you know, that's, those aren't drinking road nights. Drinking road nights are few and far between because I will most likely pay for them the next day. And I'm looking to avoid those when possible. So how does this work? If there's a raid wipe, does everyone lose their characters? Yes. Yep. That's exactly how it works. Do I have unlimited oxygen? I have unlimited oxygen for the next five minutes. And then my potion runs out. I guess it's not really unlimited, is it? Yeah. All right, I think there's one. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Do 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 do. Acoustis, uh, Acoustium, yes. Logic Motor says, I finally hit level 20 for the first time in my hardcore character. Congrats, dude. Big congrats, my friend. All right. Fo. Mo. Fo Mo. Fo Mo. Fo Mo. Lunch break before Lethal Company? Yeah. Lethal Company isn't until 1, so I'm going a little later today. <laughs> Who 
boop. Oh, whoops. Mm -mm. Oh, what's this? There we go. All right, so this is like right there. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. You are aware that a vulture is following you? I have been told this, yes. How many do we have left after this? Only two more. Great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been told to expect a few times where rested XP is like, go ahead and just grind out this level. Yeah. I'm, I'm mentally prepared for this. If you want to save your sanity, just grind an extra three to four bars in each zone before moving on, and it'll make the grind points easier. Oh, that's great advice. Cool. Okay. That's great advice. Mm hmm Nice. I hadn't thought to do that, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Spoken like a true EQ veteran. Yeah, dude. Did you see Larian's new tweet about Wither's epilogue? What? No. What's that? Imagine trying to keep your sanity. I know. Who's got time for that, dude? Oh my god. What is this? Hold on. Larian, what did you do? Withers, epilogue, party extravaganza, coming patch five. You're invited. Bring your living friends. Reminisce by the campfire. Dress to impress. Fun is mandatory. What are they what are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> oh, freaking Larry. Mm. <laughs> Alright. What happens when you reach max level? There's three stages. Stage one is get max level. Stage two, which starts like at 55, is get attunement and start getting gear for raiding. And then stage three is raiding. That's the final stage. That is where, if we somehow make it that far, that is where we die. Yeah. That is where we die. So, stage, yes. Stage three is considered a terminal stage. Yep. That's it. You're done. You raid until you can't raid anymore. Then stage four is starting the process over from the beginning. Yep. That's about it. That's about it, y'all. Mm-hmm. Togo Cell? I know. I know. I'm turning these quests in, then I'm out of here.
Did you see Bethesda replying to negative Starfield reviews on Steam? It's a pretty bad look for them. I disagree completely. I've seen a lot of people say that. I disagree completely. I know Bethesda's a huge company, but I like seeing developers say their point of view and start a discussion over things. I think if an indie dev did it, I think it was cool. I think if, if Bethesda does it well, I think it's cool. But here's the thing. Here's, here's what I'll say. This is important. This is important. It's one thing to try to introduce a different perspective. It's another thing to tell people their opinion is wrong. So some of them, some of the responses I think were pretty cool and interesting. Others of them I feel came off as passive aggressive and you're not having fun right. But I definitely saw one that I didn't think was very bad. But I've heard there's some bad ones. So I will say I don't like the idea of devs, excuse me, I don't mind the idea of devs responding to negative things on Steam. And I think it's weird because that's what I'm hearing. What I hear about this all the time is, did you hear that Bethesda's responding to negative opinions on Steam? I think that's fine. I like. I think it's fine that devs respond to negative opinions. I think it's fine. But I will say that I've heard that in this particular case with Bethesda, some of them are condescending, passive aggressive, and you're not having fun right. And that I don't necessarily think is the right way to do it. But I do love the idea of devs responding to negative feedback, for sure. I don't think that's something we should fault them for. I think we should fault them potentially for how they're doing it, which is a different discussion. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Knowing that this information sense. is secure will bring some ease to the command in Booty Bay. Well done, adventurer. But that's what I, I've seen so many people be like, yeah, can you believe that Bethesda's responding to negative criticism? No, I think that's cool, but you know. Nice work out here, not the way adventurer. They do it. Those scum deserve what they got. Greetings. While nothing Daylight's will ever bring burning. the ship or me crew back, the death of those Norga gives me some solace. Seeing you. Most superb adventurer. Right. The captain will be very pleased. And just wait until word gets back to Fleetmaster Seahorn. Let Dobbs just Dobbs. Does that make more sense? Waiting. He'll want to see these gems firsthand. Mm -hmm. After all, that's why. Oh, you're saying that all their responses were bad. Oh, okay. The professor and I have so they're just they're just very poorly responding to the issue. Is to be okay. Hanging on okay. to their treasure. Here, adventurer, take well, us to Obreen. But that's just always been great at putting their foot right in their mouth, so <laughs> I'm not really surprised by that. That's you know, it's kinda kinda classic Bethesda. So. It just works. It just works. Can I help you? Be careful. For the Alliance. Have a good one. Alright. Uh, if I... Oh, my teleport's down. Shoot. Um... Okay, I'm gonna try this. Log out on top of the rock that you escorted Professor Fizzlethorpe in. I literally just jump on top of it and log out. I'm gonna see what happens. I hope this doesn't, like, delete my character. It's gonna send him under, under the world, and he's gonna, he's gonna fall endlessly and die, and that's gonna be the end of our hardcore character. Right there. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, chat. I'm doing it. Been a good run. <laughs> it's been a good run. Co, can you do a mukbang? I have no interest in doing any type of eating on stream where you hear me chew. Personally, I find that kind of disgusting. No offense, I'm not going to yuck your yum, but for me, I do not like listening to people eat. I I was raised where that's a rude thing to do, so I just cannot mentally do it, and I'm sorry. You will not ever see. If I ever eat on stream, I mute my mic when I'm chewing. So I'm sorry. <laughs> just, you're not gonna find that here. What? What is this? Nani, 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 nani. Jeez. Okay. Um. Where am I? Step two. Train your class spells. Train brow rank five. Okay. Oh, I think we're on a I think we're on a new thing. Okay, cool. Wow, dude, that's kind of crazy. Alright. But yeah, for for the record, I know some people love mukbang. I know there's some YouTubers and, and things that only do that. And more power to them. 
if, if I did not have that mental block that I have, you know, who knows, maybe I'd enjoy them too, but that's just not my, not my thing. Yo! They're calling it Tribes 3? Tribes3Rivals.com. Sign up for the playtest. Yep. One second. I love it. Alright, hold on. I'm signing up real quick. Thank you. Your submission has been received. We'll send you a playtest invitation via email at a later date. Tribes3Rivals.com. Go get a chat. Chat spot. All right. How are, are you, you? Fly to? Uh, flying to Ironforge, right? right? Yeah. See you later. Train Growl rank five. Wait, what? Growl rank five. I have Growl rank five. Oh no, I don't. Gotta do that. All right. Whoops. Yeah, Tribes Ascend was not numbered. Yep. Tribes Ascend was not numbered. It was it was uh, uh almost like a side project in some ways. Mm-hmm. Oh dude, I was a huge fan of Tribes back in the day. I even like Tribes Ascend. I know that's kind of like sacrilegious to say, but I, anything that had a blue flying disc, I generally was on board with. <coughs> the Tribes Ascend was the one with the grappling hook, right? Was that Ascend? There was, there was like, I, I vividly remember there being this underground cavern level with all of these like pillars of stone all over the place. And you had a grappling hook, and it was so cool fighting in there because you could grapple like around the pillars and stuff, and it was it was actually awesome. Um, it was a great game, or excuse me, it was a great map, and it just it, it worked. But I don't know if that oh that was vengeance. Oh, that was vengeance. Okay. Hmm. I think I, I think I have vengeance and ascend confused them. Maybe, maybe I didn't play Ascend. Tribes Ascend was the one with assault rifles and was free to play. Assault rifle? Oh yeah, I don't know. Maybe I've been thinking of Vengeance this whole time. I don't know. Anyway, right on. All I know is, is that they're making a three and I'm excited. Tribes 3 Rivals resurrects the high-speed aerial combat of the Legendary Shooter franchise for a fresh hit familiar FPS experience. In this fast-paced team shooter, you'll ski, jetpack, battle, and race to capture the enemy's team's flags, all while ferociously defending your own. Choose from unique classes and customize your abilities, perks, and something, something, something. That's <laughs> but yeah, all sounds good. All sounds good. I'll be playing the absolute hell out of that. Made by high res, I don't have faith. Ah, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully they got they got a good team on it. We'll see. I mean, we'll, we gotta get more details, obviously. Yeah, there's some gameplay of it, too. I think the gameplay was like, kind of motion blurry and weird, though. Hold on, let me see here. I think Gonk just, just uh... Man killed the drizzle. Oh my god, dude. This is grainy as hell. But I mean, it's still, it looks like it has the components of what makes Tribe fun. And I'm guessing this is an early look too, so. Yeah. I'm here for it, man. If that runs well and works well and is taut, super taut, I'll take it. 
Mm -hmm. What was that? Uh, so I think it was either leaked footage or preview or something, but it's of a, it's from an early look at Tribes 3. Mm -hmm. That just looked like Unreal Tournament to me. Well, to be fair, Tribes is incredibly similar to Unreal Tournament, except it's different in a few very key ways. Um, it has skiing. It has like, it's more of a, it's more of a game based on, it's, it's less hit scan and more projectile based weapons. Um, there, there's like, it is basically just another first person shooter, but it has some unique things that kind of separate it that have been kind of um, very trademark to the franchise. Yeah. It's, it's a much more like much more lofty movement game. It's a lot of fun. Isn't Tribes dead? Tribes has been dormant for a long time. This is the first time we've kind of heard anything about it for a while. How are you? What do you need directions to? Which profession trainer would you be looking for? Say, well, well. You've come to the right place to learn mining, Boyo. Geofram Boyo himself resides at the Deep Mountain Mining Guild. You couldn't ask for a better instructor than him. Is that the RTS one? No, no, no. That was a uh, Savage and Natural Selection, which frankly the world needs more of both those games. Those games were incredibly fun. When all the, when all the pieces worked together in those games, that was some incredibly good times. Oh. Nice. Up oh, there goes oh, like all my gold, but still, we'll, we'll take it. It's our first skill up to three hundred. Nice. Need to be changed. Yeah, Natural Selection was so good. It's so funny to think that that company went on to make Subnautica. Kind of awesome. Oh, even Mithril's Gray? Rude. I thought Mithril would be green at least. Am I saving it for my mount? I am. It's gonna be a while still, but we're, we're getting there. Have you ever had the invasive thoughts to jump into the lava lava in Ironforge? Uh, about every 15 seconds. The, the trick is not acting on the invasive thoughts. Yes. Are you going to play Season of Discovery? Yeah. I think I'm going to roll a little Undead Warrior. Check it out. Hi. The purrs. Undead Warlock, your Warlock back from the dead. Oh my god, that's brilliant. I love it. Uh, Co, just a heads up, Blizzard has stated they're keeping server caps low to stop one server getting flooded and will raise caps as it all balance out. You may or may not get on the server with only fangs due to that. Oh, that sucks, especially since I don't know if I'm playing, like, right when it comes out. Huh. Bummer. But we'll see. You got my attention? We will see. If we do, awesome. If we don't, figure it out. Uh, I should sell some of these in the AH, I guess. They don't really look like they're selling too well. Somebody said they were selling well. Watch your neck. Oh, um. All right. Wish me luck, chat. Wish me luck. 
take some of that money money. Swap your goggles back? I think I had to take the other ones off. Okay. Oh, we gotta put the stone in. Should have some room for that. Interest you on the fight? Got a lot of stone. Got a lot of random mining stuff in here. Gotta do something about that. Oh, wait. looking a lot better keep looking a lot better chat it's been awesome all right friendos i am out of here for now i will see you fine folks in just a little bit probably right around 1 p.m we're going to be playing lethal company today with like seven other streamers it's going to be nutty uh, we're going to be starting that around 1 p.m i anticipate at least a little bit of tech issues as we get everyone on board but on that note uh it should be a lot of fun so hope to see you here for it going to be a thing. When is 1 p.m.? 1 p.m. is in one hour and 23 minutes. So good time to go get some lunch, use the bathroom, do whatever you got to do. As always, I'll be tossing over to Pasco if you want to hang out with the community while I'm gone. Hope to see you later. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, appreciate your time here.